ran into her recently at a party and she wasn't the nicest and it's crazy because I've always loved and respect what she's done with fashion and I've ran into her you know before and but this time it was just really it wasn't the most pleasant run in so the streets are saying that there is still a lot of bad blood between Rihanna and Sierra and even till this day Sierra believes that Rihanna is not who she pretends to be and blames her for kind of ruining her career. And does Sierra believe that Rihanna bullied her for more than 10 years? Honestly, let's just break this mess down. Okay, so do you guys remember when Rihanna and Sierra had their epic showdown on Twitter and Rihanna gave one of the most petty clapbacks in the history of social media? That happened ages ago and we all assumed that both of them had gotten over the petty fight. I mean, Rihanna apologized to Sierra publicly, so the beef should have died right there and then, right? Well, we were wrong about that because Sierra recently spoke about the situation again, and it turns out that there was so much more going on between them that we had no idea about. Okay, so to give you some history as to how the beef even started. At first, we thought that the reason behind the beef was that Sierra had gone on Fashion Police and made comments about how Rihanna was mean to her at an event where they had ran into each other. Ran into her recently at a party and she wasn't the nicest and it's crazy because I've always loved and respect what she's done with fashion and I've ran into her, you know, before and, but this time it was just really, it wasn't the most pleasant run in, so. A bitch, next. Oh. <laughs> Sierra's statement was weird because this conversation had been about Rihanna's outfit to an event. There was no talk about the type of person Rihanna was, whether she was nice or mean or whatever. So it was kind of weird that Sierra randomly decided to bring up the fact that Rihanna had been mean to her at a party and it kind of seemed like it was something that she wanted to get off of her chest. Plus, the way she laughed after Joan Rivers called Rihanna the B word kind of made the whole thing look shady. Now, I'm not saying that Sierra was trying to be malicious, but I guess Rihanna believed that Sierra was calling her out. At the time, Riri was in the middle of her savage mean girl era and she immediately clapped back at Sierra on Twitter. She tweeted at Sierra saying, you were supposed to be opening up for my only girl in the world tour, but I'm demoting you to concession stand at Sierra. Sierra. She also tweeted, my bad C, did I forget to tip you? How rude of me, you gangster, huh? Well, Sierra was not about to back down from this fight and she tweeted back at Rihanna saying, trust me Rihanna, you don't wanna see me on or off the stage. Rihanna clapped back saying, good luck with booking that stage you speak of. Ooh, that clapback was savage and it remains one of Rihanna's most iconic one-liners ever. But she apologized to Sierra after a couple of hours saying, Sierra baby, I love you girl. You hurt my feelings real bad on TV. I'm heartbroken. That's why I retaliated this way. So sorry, let's make up. Her apology was as loud as her disrespect and Sierra accepted the apology and said, Re, you know it's always been love since day one. Doing shows and everything, you threw me off in that party. Apology accepted, let's chat in person. Both parties played kiss and makeup and for a while we did think that their relationship was going to be fixed after that. I mean, they were spotted together a couple of times at events and there was no sign of any beef between them. But it quickly became obvious that there was some drama going on behind the scenes and it wasn't long before the drama spilled over onto social media. In 2013, Sierra dropped her song Body Party and also released a music video for the song. But for some reason, Rihanna posted a clip of her and her friend Melissa Ford watching the video and laughing hard. Fans were kind of split about this because while some fans thought that Rihanna was being hella shady by posting the video, others thought that she was just trying to show support for Sierra by posting the video to boost the song. Well, Sierra did not think that Rihanna was being supportive. Instead, she believed that Riri was being petty and shady. She even addressed it in an interview where she said, I thought everything was cool because I actually saw Rihanna two years ago at the Met Gala after we had that little small back and forth and from what I recall, everything was cool. So in my mind, I operate from a place of love and pure support. If you would have asked me about her up until this point, I would have had nothing but good things to say because I'm really happy for her. But I didn't receive what they did from a positive place. At this point, it was slowly becoming clear that whatever beef they had going on went way deeper than Sierra's comments on Fashion Police. There was something else going on and Sierra kind of hinted that Rihanna was hating on her for no reason. In an interview with Wild 94.9, 
Sierra said, I don't know what her problem is. I think she is nuts right now. Whatever's going on, it doesn't make any sense. She has a lot of good things going on with herself. A lot of good things. I've always said I've been happy for her. I don't get it. I really don't. But I wish her well. I wish her positivity. Sierra also took to Twitter to say, I am baffled. The obsession really makes no sense. This is getting out of hand. Somebody please point her in the right direction because she clearly needs love and affection. She was obviously pressed about the situation because she continued to talk about it in interviews. I tell you anything, you have to ask her. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's so vocal. Maybe she she can say whatever it is. I don't know. No, I saw the girl in the club. We were in L.A. and I saw her um, and she was weird again. She also confirmed suspicions that the whole mess was not about her comments on Fashion Police because they had ironed out that drama. People speculated that the beef could have been because of Sierra's sensual performance with Chris Brown at the 2008 BET Awards. However, this theory doesn't make sense because Rihanna is also an artist and she has been in similar situations before. At the end of the day, it's just a performance, so there was no reason for her to get jealous enough to shade Sierra. And the thing is, Rihanna didn't just stop at Sierra because she took the feud way deeper. Sierra was dating Future at the time that this drama was going down, and Future did a song with Rihanna titled Love Song. In an interview, he kind of hinted that the mess between Rihanna and Sierra is the reason Riri never gave the song a lot of promotion and even refused to shoot a music video. He said, we never shot a video, we never performed it. I don't know whether it was because of that situation or if just the time hasn't come up. Future's comments as well as Sierra's interviews over the matter kind of pointed to the fact that Rihanna was being unnecessarily problematic. And this is not hard to believe because, well, Rihanna had a reputation for being a mean girl. At the time, she was in her bad girl era, so maybe she was just playing the part and causing trouble just to maintain that image. And according to an insider, Sierra believes that Rihanna has never changed from the mean girl era. Sierra believes that Rihanna only cleaned up her image a little bit because she realized that people were getting too critical of her rude image. Sierra is still a bit salty because she never received an apology from Rihanna for the way Rihanna bullied her over the years. Also, the debate that Rihanna kind of ruined Sierra's career, I really don't think that she did that, but what I do agree with is that every time Sierra used to promote anything back when this beef was still at its height, people would keep bringing their feud up. It's like every good thing that Sierra did was overshadowed by the mess. And fans 100% believe Sierra and they left comments saying, Rihanna has a master's degree in throwing shade and being rude. She's one of those people who gets away with anything cause she's very pretty. Sierra is a sweet girl and she definitely doesn't deserve this. And Sierra has every right to be upset. It's one thing if two people don't click and simply choose not to interact, but it's another ball game when someone goes out of their way to be rude, especially when it can detrimentally affect your career. But do you guys believe Sierra's story about Rihanna hating her for no reason? Or do you think that there's something that she just isn't telling us? Let me know what you think and I will see you next time.